Your look, it's The Rocks. I'm filming a day of his favorites. What the? guys, Will here, welcome to the video. So when you think of the pinnacle of fitness, big, big carbon-deuced cheat meals, who do you think of? You think of me, jokes, you probably think of Ollie or The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the man is a legend, we cannot deny that. So in honor of him, today is gonna be a day of his favorites, his favorite food, his favorite workout, and just some fun rock facts. So let's go make some breakfast. All right guys, time to make some breakfast. We are making an epic stack of pancakes. So if you go on Google and search The Rock's favorite food, chocolate chip banana pancakes are what comes up. Although lately it looks like he's been having some thick cut brioche French toast. It must be just a phase, a lot like our grade eight emo phase, this happens to us all. So right now we're gonna make a huge stack of pancakes and enjoy some breakfast. So we got a nice stack here of chocolate chip banana pancakes, pretty much dessert for breakfast. So this is obviously not his daily breakfast. This is part of his cheat meal Sundays that he has every single week that he actively posts on his Instagram all the time. And I really like the message that he has with his cheat meals that is, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself and enjoy your cheat meals. And if you're gonna indulge, enjoy it and don't feel bad about it and just move on after you have it. That's, that's what life's all about, enjoy your food. So he likes to smother his uh, pancakes in syrup and peanut butter. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Oh yeah, this is a carb heavy meal. Everyone's trying to get all these naturally high glycogen levels. Now the syrup, at this point, I might as well call these pancakes Katie, if you know what I mean. Okay. All right, taste test going down. I usually one bite my bananas, but we'll see how it goes in pancakes. Nice little cross section. Oh baby. Gangster. Oh yeah. Pancakes, waffles, or French toast? Comment down below. I'm waffle fan all the way. All the way. You must be wondering, Will, why are you using Aunt Jemima? It's not real maple syrup, I know, but he actually uses the same thing. Bang, bang. I got a plate full of them. Bang, right there. I've got Aunt Jemima ready to go. She tastes great. So a quick little fun fact about The Rock. His 46th birthday cake was actually a stack of chocolate chip banana pancakes. This, this is not pancakes. This is a cake. Take a good look at it. It's crazy. Coincidentally, mine was my favorite cheat meal too, which is a donut. And based off my Instagram polls and the, and the things that you send back, the majority of yours would be ass, so. This is a naughty amount of carbs for breakfast, but after this, we are heading to the gym to do The Rock's chest workout. So the pump is gonna be on another level. Mm. All right guys, so like I mentioned, we are heading to the gym to do the Rocks chest workout. So I have like 200 grams of carbs in me, but obviously we need a pre-workout. So what I'm gonna be using is the Blue Star PPK Pump Edition Lemon Balm, because we want the blood traveling to all the right places, you know? So I'm gonna do a nice, nice heap scoop here. Looking like my coffee table right now. And then just gonna go right into the shaker. Perfecto. Now see you guys at the gym. All right guys, so we are at the Iron Paradise, AKA my gym. So we're about to hop into the chest workout that'll be on the screen right there. So tons of volume, a lot more than what I'm used to. So it should induce some growth. And during the workout, we're actually gonna listen to his Spotify playlist full of his favorite songs. And apparently throughout the playlist, he has a motivational messages and shout outs. So it should be pretty cool. So let's get into the workout. All right guys, so we have Eminem till I collapse on. About to start off with the first exercise, which is the barbell bench press, a chest day staple and one of his favorites.
So we've done eight sets of pressing, so now we're moving on to the flat dumbbell press. I'd normally be able to do like 100 pounds for sets of 12, but my chest is fried, so probably go down to like the 85s, potentially the 80s. Very interesting music here. I'm going from like Drake to Boston. It's just very like different times, so it's good. Highly recommend it. Okay guys, so now we are moving on to the flat bench. Cable flies, four sets to failure. So I know we're not doing the pec deck in this workout, but apparently his favorite chest exercise is the pec deck, and that's why he says he's such a big hugger. I never would have thought the rock's favorite exercise would be the pec deck, that'd be some sort of like alpha movement, like the deadlift or something. Even The Rock knows every day is arm day. Okay guys, last exercise of the day is four sets of dips to failure. I honestly think I'm probably gonna get like 10 reps per set because like, even just going like this, like I'm, I'm starting to cramp right now, but give it our best shot. Guys, well that is gonna wrap up the workout. I can totally see why that guy has a set of butt cheeks for a chest, but now it's time to go get a post-worker meal, another one of his Sunday cheat meal favorites. Okay guys, so we are out for the post-workout meal. We're having some sushi, so The Rock loves fish. Apparently sources say if you already eat, The Rock is a fish. And he has been seen to have 52 ounces of animal-based protein a day on his typical diet, and a big chunk of that comes from lean sources of fish like cod and halibut. But on the weekend is when the fatty boys of the sea come into play, especially salmon, and his favorite role is the Philadelphia roll, which is what we ordered. And on that is salmon, cream cheese, avocado, and cucumber. And then on top, got unagi sauce, tobiko, and wasabi mayo. Quite the deck and a roll. And he's been seen to have 18 of those at one time. He calls it a Sunday sushi train. I do too, enjoy running train, just seldom leave a sushi. Do you guys see the size of this roll? But take a look at that. So I also got a salmon roll for good measure. So natural, not natty. So, you know, I have a deep love affair with sushi. Um, I've spread cream cheese on many animals before, but never a fish. And I've never had it with sushi, so it'll be very interesting to see. So let's do a little bit of a taste test here. This is even hard to pick up. We're going hands. Look at that. Thick cream cheese. Mm. The cream cheese just like pushes away the seaweed. Very like rich component. So I went on my fitness pal to find the calories for this thing. And they said it's 420 calories, but I feel like this is larger than the average Philadelphia roll. So I'm probably gonna estimate this is around like 600 calories, which is obnoxious for one roll. Absolutely demolished. That one roll goes a long way. All right, guys, we are back. I'm here with my sister, Victoria. So something The Rock is very passionate about and seems to drink more than water is tequila. And he actually has his own tequila company called Terramana Tequila that he started in March 2020. But we are here in Canada and you cannot get it anywhere. So we're still gonna do a tequila taste test anyway. And we're replacing his with another celebrity's tequila, George Clooney's Casamigos that he started in 2013. So do you like tequila? Hell no. I love it. Really? I love to mix my emotions with it. No. It's just like, it it's takes me back. Bad decisions. All right, so we have three different tequilas here, starting from cheapest to the most expensive. And I guess we'll start with the cheapest. Yeah, sure. So my, my white ass wants to call this Hoja Vieja, but I'm assuming the J is silent. Hoja, Hoja Vieja, yeah. Tequila is a great supplement. It just brings out your personality. If, if this can't, nothing will. Did you just shoot it? I'm not going to, I'm gonna sip it. Comes up your nose a bit. I can't even really get any kind of flavor beyond tasting like that time I was passed out in a field. Like, it kind of has a gasolineness to it. Yeah, like yeah. that. It's something that you get if you're a university student and you're just looking to get turned, you know, at a party. That, that's a good, yeah. that's a good choice. I poured way too much. Do I have to shoot this now? Just shoot it, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Next up, let's go with the Reposado 1800. This is a bougie looking thing. Looks like this is what yeah. the rappers would be drinking. You know? I agree. My eyes are watering. I'm literally crying. That This made me cry. How would you do any dirty? A white girl with tequila? Name a better duo, I'll wait. Oh, this actually? Yeah, it actually smells pretty good. I wouldn't go that far, but better. I'm gonna get so made fun of for this. Okay. Oh, that has a rich mouthfeel. I'm getting like some butterscotchness to it. Yeah? You taste the oak. You taste, yeah, in all the ways of experience wood. Never like this. Whoa. All right, and I guess the moment that we have all been waiting for, Mr. George Clooney's tequila, so let's see how he tastes. I can't imagine him tasting bad, if I'm being honest. Definitely not. This smells like it's gonna be something special, I can tell you that. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. This one would get me in trouble. That is smooth. I could drink that, like, this is like the size of a Corona bottle. Mm -hmm. This would release the human horsepower in me, I'll tell you that. So, kind of a cute It kind of tastes like vanilla. Yeah. You get that? Yeah, I'm getting vanilla notes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting vanilla notes in that one too. I have a fun fact about tequila. You do. Tequila is the only alcohol that is an upper instead of a downer. So that's why people <clears throat> I would, like to I, get crazy. Yeah. yeah. I totally agree with that. But we're gonna do a real shot now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, just a little bit. I still. Mm. My judgment's That's like already. Like a glass of whiskey, dude. My okay. judgment's already being tampered with right I now. I feel like. So how are we gonna? My dinner. It? I'm gonna enjoy my dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. So we gotta lick the handle a bit. And then we don't have any salt shakers, so we're gonna have to like salt bay this. Oh. Just I'm put just... your hand in. Coronavirus isn't a thing, right? I like it's salty. Right. Three. Just waiting for two, that. One. Okay. You know what, I don't even need the chase. I am the chase. That was too smooth. I do have to say, George, he tastes, tastes good. good. He tastes good, yeah. We rank this one a five out of 10. This one, I'm gonna go with, I think that was slightly better than that yeah, one. Yeah, six Give and a half. Six and a half, I agree. Yeah. And this one, I'll go with an eight. I'm gonna go with a 10 because I've actually never enjoyed tequila before and that wasn't half bad. Yeah. So in terms of the best tequila I've ever had, probably that. Yeah, okay, you know what? George I'll, is probably I'll, I'll go to my attend. judgment, but yeah. yeah. This isn't this isn't sponsored by the way. No. Just in case, yeah. But so. if you want to reach out to us, yeah. George. Yeah. So that was the tequila taste test. Next time we'll be sure to get Terramana. And uh yeah, so I'll see you guys at dinner. My head actually feels a little light right now. Yeah, I feel a little bit like someone could so take advantage of me. It's supper time, y'all. So earlier today we talked about what is the typical breakfast on a cheat meal for The Rock, but what about on a normal day? So apparently on a normal day he has buffalo with egg whites and five packs of cream of wheat topped with some ketchup. And he describes it on his Instagram as breakfast of champions or for slightly crazy individuals, five packs of cream of wheat, four liquid chickens, and eight ounces of dead buffalo topped off with some lion's blood. That just sounds like the tipping point for a vegan uprising to me. So it seems to me that bison is his favorite type of red meat. And on his Instagram lately, it looks like he's been dabbling with some bacon cheeseburgers for his cheat meals. So we're gonna combine the best of both worlds and make some bison bacon cheeseburgers for dinner. excited to get into these things. So I'll put a picture of his on the screen right now. His are like the ones that you see when you're in the drive-thru and those are the ad. And then this is what you get in real life. But as you guys know, everything's flatter in real life. And I am excited to get into these things. Bison is just my favorite meat on the planet. It's just a wholesome sweet meat. Coincidentally, my nickname in high school. All right, here we go. Oh baby. Such robust flavors. Bacon is just being bacon. The cheese is letting you know that it's there, which is what I desire in a cheese. It is just so good. Check out how perfectly cooked that is. Ooh. Last bite. Wish I still had more bite. All right, guys, well, that was dinner. Probably gonna go get some dessert and then end the night off with a movie. 
Feeling bloated, feeling thirsty, but satisfied. So today has been a successful day. So wrapping up the night with one of The Rock's favorite desserts, which is ice cream alongside cookies and brownies. He actually likes ice cream so much, he invested into an ice cream company called Salt and Straw. And he actually, on National Ice Cream Day, had five pints in one go. Respect, dude. So gonna go take this bowl and go watch Moana, a very personal movie to him. He said he cried through it the entire time. So we'll see what that's all about. What can I say? I will say this movie is pretty damn sick. Disney Plus for the win. So today's been a pretty good day of eating. I've had chocolate chip banana pancakes with peanut butter all over it. I had sushi and then I had... Burger. Burger? Burger. Yeah, I had the burger. I tend to have food amnesia, which is why I never feel guilty, I guess. But yeah, then I had the burger and then I had the ice cream. You know what? I really look up to The Rock, man. The guy is a hustler between being in movies, producing TV shows, having his own clothing line, his own tequila brand. The guy succeeds at everything he does. He just works at it and just, he never gives up. And we can all learn from that. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.